I'm the Artistic Director and CEO of Sadler's Wells. I look after the artistic direction of the theatre, the way we're going artistically, who we invite in to perform here. I think there are many, many dance audiences. It does really depend on what it is, but that's the great thing about what we do, is we, can, we change very quickly each week into some other style. So the audience has grown at the same time as, uh, as we've had some great artists making work. I think the last 10 years has seen a huge shift in what's happening in dance. There are a number of reasons for that. One is that we have some fantastic uh, artists, dance artists, who are making great work. And some of them have been nominated uh, for the Olivier's uh, this year. It's really important that dance is, uh, is there in the Olivier's. Um, it's no longer the Cinderella of the arts. And, and I think it's important that it's seen to be going into mainstream events like the Olivier's. So I'm really glad there are two categories. I'd love there to be more, <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I think the recognition is, is very important. And also that the dance, some of the dance uh, nominations have gone outside of the dance uh, categories. I think that's also a big shift, uh, you know, when Matthew's in two other categories that aren't the dance categories, that shows that this thing is going much wider. There are many, many, there are many, many artists and um, who is going to, come through. I think the form which is going to be most exciting is hip-hop because it's influencing many many of the contemporary uh, choreographers that I know and anyway in itself it's becoming more sophisticated. It's here every year on our main stage and, and main stages all around the world so as a form I think there will be more. There is one hip-hop nomination already this year and I think there may be more uh, when you look into the future of the Olivier's.